Now we're going to be building the battery pack that attaches onto the back of the Quest. Uh, in addition to having the weight of the battery pack itself, which is about 9 ounces, for good balance the Quest needs about 19 ounces on the back of it. So in addition to the weight from this, also going to make a little triangle out of uh, just steel to make up the extra bit of weight and the steel that I'm using, it's a 1 inch by 8 inch thick and of that thickness of mild steel you need about 1.5 feet total of length in order to get the proper weight to fully balance out the quest. Got our pieces cut out, uh, just gonna bend them a little now. This one doesn't need too much of a bend, just kind of go around the back of your head. Uh, these two need a little bit more of an aggressive bend. Uh, I'll show you about what it needs. This is going to match the curve of the strap as it already is, basically. We've got our metal bit now. This back piece fits nicely there. And the side piece is like that. So now we're just basically going to attach these three like this. Now I want this to be relatively flexible. I'm not going to weld this or anything. I'm actually just going to basically wrap the whole thing in duct tape. Uh, the final plan is once this is all is wrapped in duct tape, we'll leave the hole in the center of course, just wrap them to each other in duct tape. Uh, the battery pack itself will sit basically just right there and then this assembly as a whole, of course leaving the ports open, will have kind of like a fabric envelope put over it and then the fabric envelope is what we'll have the velcro on it, which is what will actually strap to this. So this whole thing is just going to be a black fabric triangle, basically, with little straps on it to attach it to the headset itself. Probably a strap here, here, and maybe two there. Probably two there. So yeah, uh, just going to wrap everything up in duct tape. Now I know duct tape might seem like kind of not a great way to do this, but since we're just joining metal and we want it to be still flexible the joints and we don't want it to be rigid it really is kind of a good solution it's simple it's quick you can just do it as it is and it's not going to go anywhere uh, so yeah that's it fits super nice on the back of the headset and like i said if it's still flexible at the joints which is the important part because there's not really any other way to do that so yeah, uh, next step, just attach the battery bank. Um, it's not going to go here. I've seen a lot of other people put it here. It seems to work a lot better attached to just the back part of it. Uh, it's a little more stable. If you do have a head that pokes out for some reason, or even a ponytail or whatever, it's nice to have this still open. Uh, so I'm going to attach it down here. It distributes the weight a little better, puts it down towards the bottom instead of on the top of your head, uh, and it's just a little easier to just wrap it around here. So also just going to duct tape this. Let me talk about the power bank just a little bit. Everything will be in the in description like I said, but the this power bank is capable of doing 5 volts at 3 amps, which is important. Any power bank that you're going to use has to be able to do at least 5 volts 3 amps because that is the charging rate of the Quest while it's in use. So in order to not drop the battery and to say the 100%, it has to be 3 amps. Uh, the same goes for the cable that connects to the Quest. It has to be capable of doing 5 volts 3 amps. Uh, this one in specific is Aki brand. It's a 10,000 milliamp hour. Uh, it's the equivalent of about three full charges on the Quest. So if you run through this entire thing and the built-in battery, that's four times the normal amount of play time you get just using the internal battery. So yeah, uh, this one is also very nice because it has, it charges via USB-C, which is how this whole thing is able to only have one plug in. You basically just leave the high-powered USB-A to USB-C on the Quest plugged in at all times and then just charge this. This keeps the Quest charged, the wall mount keeps the battery pack charged through the Type-C. And that way you don't have to unplug a Type-A from the Quest and then plug a Type-A in to charge this. This will charge with either Type-A or Type-C, which is why this one in particular is really nice. It also is just a nice size and it's kind of heavy, which is good. Uh, so yeah, this and this combined is right around 19 ounces, which is just the right amount of counterweight for the Quest. So just gonna attach that now. All right, so this is all attached now. It's not going anywhere. Um, on this side, there's a little button here. 
that you press to see how full this is, and also uh, sometimes if everything's already plugged in and you just turn the quest on, this won't recognize that something needs to be drawing power again, so you have to press that button uh, to get it to start drawing power, because this does have an auto shut off, so it won't keep charging once it knows that the quest is full, which is good. Uh, the quest has an auto shut off in it anyways, but it's nice to just have double protection. So next step is to just sew up a little enclosure for all of this, make it look pretty, and put the velcro on, and then we are done. So just out of a black cloth, cut about this shape, two of them, uh, it's basically just going to sandwich together like that. I'm just going to use a ladder stitch on everything. Uh, since it's kind of impossible to do this inside out. Uh, but yeah, just this sort of shape, Let's stitch everything together, and then put the Velcro on. So I've got this all sewn up now. Everything's covered. This set is just kind of sticking out. And then just put a seam here and in here. So we still got our two ports here, and then the indicator at the bottom. Uh, so yeah, next step, just put uh, so the Velcro strips on, just going to do a strip here that wraps around, here that wraps around, oh. and then here that wraps around. So you'll have three points of contact. We've got the Velcro on now, on our three points, uh, and that is this done. So this is what we're looking at once it's actually on the quest. That's your final product. So it's pretty, it really doesn't add much size to it. You don't notice it at all when you're wearing it. And having it balanced like this is so much nicer. It's an enormous difference. So you've got it plugged in there and plugged in here. Uh, like I've said, I'm going to leave the links to, to this specific cable, all the electronics uh, and all the stuff for the wall mount as well in the description. Uh, but yeah, that's all it is. It kind of just naturally runs right along the lines of the headset, and that's it. So this is what our final product's looking like with the entire mount. We've got battery pack up there with its cable. We've got all the controllers mounted down there, your battery chargers for the controllers, and then your power cable right up here, which just plugs into the side here charges the battery pack, which charges the Quest.